Okay. Yep, we're doing it, and you're watching. And you're watching. And there's nothing you can do about it, Zan. You understand? <laughs> so, So, um, nope. You're leaving? I, I'm so sad. Anyway. Previously, on Metal Gear Rising, we... There was some shit going on in... Some... Middle Eastern country? Fuck if I remember. Anyway, we're in Mexico now. Um, yes, this is our disguise to... Um, this is our Mexican disguise, so that nobody notices who we are while we're sneaking around Mexico. We are looking for a human trafficking outfit in a sewer. Our robot dog is scouting ahead and we are going to chase after him while he tells us what to do. None of the things I said were made up just now. None of them. It's okay, because I know Zam is concerned, but we do have some stealth stuff at our disposal here. Okay? Okay, Zan, we have some stealth technology. <laughs> it's okay, because check this out. We can go quickly in the barrel, too. And yes, we did just vomit because we rolled too much in the barrel. So, no, this is Raiden, but we did surgically attach, there was surgical reattachment of arms though. It's a real game! It's a real honest to god game! Get ready. We're fighting a gorilla! Better take out that energy quick. We're gonna attract too much attention down there. Welcome to Metal Gear Revengeance. That's how you play the game. I see a maintenance catwalk. Use it to conceal yourself if necessary. You did miss the tutorial, boss. We can go back and do that if y'all really want. Dan, did you watch the did you watch that boss happen? Did you here? Stealth killing! No, no, that's not the tutorial boss, that was... I mean, Metal Gear Ray. Come on, that was perfect There's stealth, Sam. What more do you want? That was, like, amazing stealth. The Ray is pretty great. Uh, the final boss still has some good moments. Why the hell am I using those? I don't want to use those. They suck. Let's not use any sub weapons right now. Right. There is a boy in these sewers.
What more could you ask for from this game, really? Those aren't bots. Shut up, Zan. This game is great. <laughs> That's how you do that. Estás bien? What you say? Oh. Me a Guyanese from Guyana. You speak English? Uh, yeah. I'm from America. Call me Biden. Me name George, like Georgetown. George. <laughs> And just like all them America president. Yes, yeah. all of them. All of the American presidents. Here? Me? What the rest of you do here? You lose the map of Ninja Hideout, Ninja Man? <laughs> no, I'm looking for bad guys. Our damn Skunter is search lab. You know about it? Me know me now go back. Hey, you know one of them Skunt, now? Nah? He has to, he's fucking nah, incomprehensible. I guess you're all right. If you're a cyborg, you know who Day is? Sort of. What happened to you? Oh, maybe live on the street, they can scrape her above, nah? Then this good need dressed like the mafia say, Hey, boy, you want a job? What well, the worst gonna happen, nah? But that mother scum don't put me on a last boat! They pack us all a pickable doji container, next thing we know, we're here. At the Jumbi Lab. The Jumbi Lab. Oh, kids, like you? Yeah. A lot of why. But then me been over here what them skunt wanna do. Snuff us out. And got all day all game. So you ran. Uh-huh. Be shame me not a bad Oh I know what the hell it is. I know what the hell it is, hold on. But I can't fix it until it is Skype. I stopped turning Skype off all things. Warlock all them phantoms and black clothes that I pass me. Starting to sound like a bad guy yourself. Just playing, nah? Me done plenty bad thing, but me not kill no man. Nah, never. Good. I can't fix that till after this cutscene. We tried to warn the boy. I say, I would his brain would get cut out. Run your ass out of there. But them boy with me no understand. They like Spanish or something. So me the only one for escape. Then that machine come after me and... And I know the rest. George, <laughs> I need every detail about how you escaped. Oh. Okay, so we can probably pause it now. We can't. There we go. Let's turn off that fucking Skype thing. God, shut up, Skype. Nobody gives a damn. Okay. George is so fucking the awesome. Into the sewers through a drainage channel? Yeah, he says the channel is super tight, but there's some kind of shutter next to it. Got it. 
that must be where they dumped the waste. There's something else. It sounds like a Desperado exec was on site yesterday. If a Sentry Cyborg was on hand for the meeting... You should be able to review their video log, provided you can find the server access terminal. That would give us the evidence we need, as well as a little peek at the level of their technology. So what about the kid? I made sure the area Doctor was secure. Doctor doesn't have an affiliation. Top. Can you pick him up? Sure. I'll send a couple agents for him. You just focus on getting into that lab. If what he said is true about the organs, we need to hurry. It was Zan. Agreed. Riding out. Having new key activity ahead. It is possible they are conducting test operations while the lab is closed. They're not going to make it easy to get into that lab. Is there some way you could sneak past? It's... It's a box. How's that going to help? Oh, it's for medical supplies. That could work, actually. Close enough! We intercepted call for backup during your last fight. The caller's position is on your Soliton radar. You can engage if you wish. It is your choice. Who is calling for backup? They do. You're under attack! Stealth game! I hate these things, I don't know. Yeah, I don't understand if you dodge that or what you're supposed to do about the fire. Like at all. I feel like there should be something you can do about it. Hey, blocking fire would not be the most ridiculous thing I do in this game, okay? It really would. Okay, how that should not have hit me. Good God! I still got an S rank for that. Awesome! So while we're here. Boris, we've got kids being held inside this lab. I'm getting them out of there. 
Copy that. I will discuss with NGO what to do with them afterward. What are you thinking? Eh, uh, well, this is difficult. I imagine these are homeless children, taken from streets. Likely they have no home to return to. But we cannot dump them back on streets. We could look for adoptions in the U.S., but some of these kids may be criminals. Could be drug addicts, HIV positive. Not so easy to find homes. Yeah, wasn't easy for me either. The guys at the relief center were always worried I'd cause problems for my foster family. The alternative is putting them in an institution until they grow up. But this has issues as well. Most are already past capacity. Taking on this many street kids at one time would be impossible. Also, it's a matter of fairness. Is it fair to take in these kids here when millions more are dying? I imagine this is why rescue was not part of our contracted mission. The human rights NGOs, they know they can't rescue them all. They must take a wide view and confront the problem of traffickers, not their victims. But we can't just sit here and let them pull kids to pieces. Duh. On this, we agree. For now, rescue the children. We'll worry about the fallout later. Copy that. If we had enough time, I would be totally, at all times, playing all the codec conversations, but... Sadly, it is not a thing. That is my passcode! Right. I have determined the approximate location of the lab based on the boy's information. It is marked on your Soliton radar. So, a fake wall projection. Pretty well hidden, I gotta say. would appear to be the UG maintenance area. You should find a terminal there. Something they use to upload mission parameters to the UGs. And something I can use to access the lab's main server? Perhaps. But first you need to take a dump. I... wait, what? A dump? A digital optical output mounted proxy. You'll need one to interface with the terminal. Most <laughs> any UG should suffice. Uh, yes, iPod a dump. Like. <laughs> I'll see what I can come up with. How do I use it? Simply connect to it. You should be able to use your communications outlet to control the proxy UG. All right, let's give it a shot. You're the best at stealth, okay? I did not do that correctly. Okay, hold on. Let's try this maybe? What the hell? Bucket! 
Don't care. We stealth the Nalma. Raiden, if they continue to increase security, then... You can, actually. I have done it. That's how you do that. Is it over? For now, yeah. But that room... Those were cyborg brain casings. Duh. We saw. George said they were harvesting organs from kids. Yes. This must be why they are trafficking children. Perhaps other organs are being sold elsewhere. But they are definitely taking their brains. Jesus. Are they making these kids into cyborgs? Wait. The cyborgs you've been fighting... They seem like they might be kids. You said earlier that child soldiers have a telltale approach to combat. Yeah, but I didn't see it here. Those weren't kids. So, what? Desperado's just doing the surgeries there? We've got to do something about all those brains. We've got to save the, the brains. George was talking about. He just escaped a few hours ago. They couldn't have taken all their brains out that fast. True. There could still be a bunch of kids they haven't touched yet. I better move. Ah, there it is. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> splendid! It is all ours. Now, use it to locate the data input terminal. These guys are pretty jumpy now. Any funny business, and they might just open fire. Try latching onto Cyborg's heads from behind. Then, an electric shock should knock them unconscious. Uh, that jump is really frustrating. Notice the Portal 2-esque music. This cannot be unintentional. Oh, come on, you don't even know what you're looking for here. By the way, you get an achievement if you get all of these guys. If you get all of these if you went for shocking all of the shiny cyborgs as the little dude. It's pretty good times. Okay, so we can't go in that way. 
I don't remember how we got in here before. Yes, I do. Ah, that's how. Okay. Well, this is the only time we ever have one of these things, which is why the combat manual remains up the entire time. That is the most worthless attack. That terminal is most likely designed to download mission data and such into the UGs. Let's try using it to access the lab server. Yes, even in the future, nobody can figure out how USB ports work. <laughs> Trident, I found something. In one of the Sentry Cyborg's visual logs, guess who shows up? Patch it through. Right away. Unharvested inventory. Yeah? But have you any idea what they cost? Last night I checked, the children weren't exactly rare in the part of the world. Millions of them, in fact. You can get more once we set up a new lab. They lead lives of hunger and pain. We're performing a service here for them and the cities they burden. But just gathering the donors required a significant investment. Yes, yes, we'll get the money. Accounting will be in touch. Gracias. I assure you we will dispose of our inventory the instant we can confirm payment. Are we done here? I've got a full slate today. Takumse is a demanding mistress. And America has suffered long enough. I didn't finish off your dad, yes. You, sir. Let me see you out. You see that, Kev? Imani's killer. Desperado's chief of operations goes by Sundowner, the Californian wildfire. The kids. Think we're too late? Only one way to find out. George was still alive. Maybe the payment hasn't come through yet. Hmm, maybe. But you heard what he said. They've already started some brains on VR training. There must be more than just what I found here. What about the VIP in the suit? I'll find out. Definitely seem familiar. Right. I'm going after the kids. This is a bit much even from normal Metal Gear games, which is part of why it is so great. It gives no fucks. Bad news, right? We can't find George. What? Maybe the coordinates you sent us were off? No way. I merged the GPS location of our entry with all my movement data from that point on. This is bad. You think they got to him first? I don't know. I'll have our guys sweep the area. Thanks. I better keep moving. And 
and it's time for a giant robot fight! What the hell a BMI thing? There we go. I do. So silence for rules of nature! I want to learn more about it. Ah, uh, here is where the grad really It's shines. Ukrainian! It has wheels in the back of its legs for quick movement. You would not expect speed from such a large UG. Add the firepower and you have a potent foe. Watch for gunfire when it starts moving, and wait for the right moment to close in. It's dead. Right. I knew I'd seen that guy before. Stephen Armstrong. As in Colorado Senator Stephen Armstrong. They're already talking about him as a shoe-in for the nomination in 2020. And get this. Yep. Two years ago, a federal grand jury investigated his ties to a I certain have five, private... I have 500% heels. World Marshal. One of the biggest PMCs out there. I remember. The biggest ever since the Big Five split up. Not to mention the single largest investor in military cyborg R&D in the world. Guess that answers the question of who's backing Desperado. Marshall and Desperado in bed together. Should make for some fun headlines. Headlines? This is World Marshall and a U.S. Senator we're talking about. There won't be any headlines. Even without the Patriots filter, no major media outlet will investigate allegations like these. It'd be financial and political suicide. So we just what? Sit back while they keep carving up kids, stand aside while they build an army of cyborgs? You heard them. We shut down one lab, they build another. They're planning something big, Kev. We can't just wait for it to happen. We need to hit them first and hit them hard where it counts. No, Raiden, no. I know what you're thinking and... 
Just know, Colorado is in America, and America has these things called laws. The more you know. And law enforcement in Denver was privatized and farmed out to... Marshall, yes, so what? There are still laws, and it's their headquarters for Christ's sakes. You'd be heading right into the heart of a raging shitstorm. I didn't say it would be easy. We'll figure it out once the kids are safe. Jesus Christ! Kevin out! Delicious, delicious nachos. Bad at ship. But alright, I have infinite ammo because of the fucking wig, so who cares? There we go, we're good back. Good as new. Artificial blood cryopreserver. They must have begun preparatory freezing. What do you mean? That device is filled with synthetic blood plasma. It can slow the metabolism of a harvested organ, circulating this plasma to sustain oxygen levels. You can preserve an arm, a brain, any body part for several hours. So what are they freezing, and why? Brains. Could not say. It. Perhaps they plan to sell off the organs of the children they were told to dispose of. Unbelievable. You had best hurry, right? Right. Anesthetic in smaller doses. But breathe too much of it? And adios, muchachos! Break that glass, and I'll blow his brains out! Surrender! Or decide the needs of the many, or the needs of the few. Right in. Don't worry about me now. Quiet, Pendejo! <laughs> Surrender! I won't ask again. George, are you sure? Huh? Hmm. I'm ready. Me life now so precious. Ching. What if me can take this scunt to hell with me? Quiet! <laughs> you can see the fear in his eyes. That's all I needed to hear. Stop it! Now! I'll kill him, I swear! No, no, Zan, it's not. He has not gone there yet. Don't spoil it. If you're good, we might make it there. <laughs> I know, it's like... 
It's never actually explained if he does anything! Like... Okay, this, this, this scene is great. It's time for ride and angst. Police are still investigating a motive. President Hamilton is on his way to the Middle East this morning for his scheduled visit with Pakistani President Farooq Salam. The meeting is viewed as an attempt by the U.S. to strengthen relations amidst a surge of anti-American sentiment in the region. Yo, me ninja brother! George, good to see you up and about. How you feeling? Never better, nah? No pain, no more for star while them hunger space eat, and me never ever feel so awake, nah? That's because your blood sugar levels are being maintained automatically. Beats the hell out of coffee. Oh! Me been here you go while I got them scone in the base! Yes, he cut Why through George. Me with you, huh? Damn it, Doc. Sorry, kid. You'd just be in the way. Aww. Besides, I thought you didn't want to be a killer, right? Me don't, but... Killing isn't fun and games. Remember that. Right. <laughs> That's all I needed to hear. No! It yearns to bathe in the blood of her enemies, but you hold it back. Yeah, just remember that. Cops! Private, what is this? Kernia? You cannot resign! Sorry, Boris, it's done. Can't have a Maverick employee involved in a corporate raiding now, can we? You could at least come talk to me. No. It was time to break away from the old team, Boris. Past time. You cannot take on Marshall all by yourself. I won't sit by while they butcher little kids and ship their hearts around like meat. It's sick. It's not all so simple, right? They import those brains legally. For medical purposes, it's all done. Being legal doesn't make it right. Right, I... Hold that thought. God, right. Follow some traffic laws. Seven, threatening a peace officer. Deadly force is authorized. Are you kids serious? <laughs> Are you kids serious? Bullseye. Dead 
Yes, you can grab multiple hearts if you cut up more than one. Got a little Easter egg for you. We'll... Oh, whoops. Yep, we'll shut it off in one sec once I kill these guys. Come over here. There's a picture of a fine, fine little girl, but she's uh, covered by uh, tape. Yes, Tovarich. Now she is not. You're welcome. Well, if I run into any more, I'll try to show that off. All right, fine. The road is blocked by barricades. We will proceed through the buildings. You will follow me. Well, shut the hell up. Do any damn thing at once. Are you? I hate these things. We'll do that.
Cyborg Ninja Vampire, baby! And it plays Rules of Nature because in times like this, everything must always play Rules of Nature. Raiden, what's your status? They trashed my car. I'll have to go oh, the yeah, totally. way on foot. I've beaten the game You before. really have to do this. Look, I'm fed up with all of it. Companies like ours, yours, bend the laws when it suits business. Why not bend it when it can save innocent lives? Raiden. Boris, listen to me. No, not in this run, no. VR training. They'll be warped into killing machines. They'll be set on POWs, civilians. It'll be one atrocity after another. Hmm. Like what you went through. We can't have any more Jack the Rippers. You saw what happened with George. We'll finish this mission and then I'm we'll, doing uh... this, Boris. I have to. Because I can't really, save those kids from becoming cyborgs, but I can stop them from becoming murderers. Say you succeed. Say you get all the brains back. Then what? Just so happens I know a okay. great cybernetic surgeon. Doctor, but he cannot... You won't change my mind, Boris. This is my fight now. And your wife and son? What of them? They're in New Zealand. Safe. Rose would understand why I have to do this. <sighs> all right, damn you. You do realize Marshall has the contract for law enforcement throughout the city. They are the law in Denver. Yeah, we've met. Well then. <clears throat> Officially, Maverick Incorporated condemns you and your actions as unlawful. And a pain in the asshole. Now, increase your codec encryption. Do not worry about the lag. And more this family? I'll do all I can over the codec to help. I do not like what those mudaki are doing any more than you. Спасибо, товарищ. Спасибо. No. Um. I didn't see any vending machines. don't actually have to know what the fuck he's saying, you know? Okay, where were the vending machines here? And I'll go back for them. And I'm not going to, because seriously, nobody cares about increasing. Son of a... I can't, I can't restart the whole mission for this, I'm sorry. Traveling atop buildings will minimize enemy encounters. I 
They're the most powerful riot shields in the world. Oh, they're gonna. Well, I think I'm. I haven't limited everything. I don't think I've actually spent a single electrolyte pack in the entire game, honestly. Why would you ever need to? I was hoping that Kevin would call me up and make a joke about vending machines full of blood, to be honest with you. Doc, what's your status? I am reviewing the pre-flight checklist now. I have hired contractors to handle shipping the brain units. We should be airborne in just a few minutes. You sure you can pilot that chopper by yourself? Right, and of course. Need I remind you that we live in the golden age of unmanned flight? Even manned helicopters possess a robust semi-automatic mode. It is simple, really. So simple that I can Can't continue to monitor it, your fine. status and world martial security from the pilot seat. I must say, for the world's largest PMC, their security procedures are quite poor. Quite poor. Sadly, I did not have the necessary permissions to override their plans. Nevertheless, the data I did find should prove most useful. So please, do feel free to contact me whenever you like. Appreciate it, Doc. Well, it's not every day one has the chance to collect so many brains. Think of the data, the research. Oh, and of course, your personal safety was a concern as well. And it's these stupid fuckers again. Look, they're hammers, they're assholes, and we hate them. That's all you really need to know about these guys. I fucking hate them! Okay, seriously, these things are awful. Both his legs are gone. He doesn't care. Well, he actually fell. Dude, he fucking... What? What the hell did he do? A lot faster. We're not trying to actively not fuck anything up. What do they do? Some things world marshal does not. <laughs> yes, you can theoretically save him, but oh my god, I am so not doing that.
Fuck! What's wrong? Answer me! Raiden! Raiden! Well, I guess we get a second chance at this shit then. Yes! Bird thing doesn't notice me so well as well. You cannot proceed any further via the rooftops. There is a freight railroad underground. The elevator ahead will take you to it. Okay, let's take the elevator, guys. Are you ready? Elevator! Elevator. That's how you take the elevator. As the this way to the railroad. It would appear so, likely part of Denver's old system. This city was a major transport hub in the early years of freight trains. This particular line appears to have been abandoned some time ago. It was originally constructed to transport supplies to an underground factory. But now, it seems even the electrical system is no longer functioning. Yeah, it's pitch black in here. As a cyborg, I trust this is not a serious concern. So, it'll be a little dark, and I'm sorry, but there's totally an achievement for doing this shit without actually turning on the lights, the night vision, and I can't... I still have not noticed you! Do not expose yourself! I totally have to do it, because it's awful, and I know you guys can't see shit, but I'm sorry. I cannot... Total, I cannot at all resist. Okay, let's... How far away can I run in this shit? Oh. Y'all aren't gonna stop me. That's awful. This could be a problem. Okay, I might actually have to stop and kill you guys. That doesn't sound fun at all, so let's not do it! Not doing it, can't make me. There is a maintenance shaft up ahead. Use it to return to the surface. Yes. By the way, this is why I hate these guys. Yeah, right. At all times, these things are awful. Well, I have Ripper Mode anyway, because I'm doing this in a recovery thing, but I don't want to kill everything with Ripper Mode, because fuck that. I don't need to kill everything in Ripper Mode. Right. It would appear your only way forward is to return to the surface. You will exit Thank into you. an evacuated commercial district. Security is heavy. But you need not worry about collateral damage when engaging the enemy. About time. Finally, I can cut loose. Proceed to the right from the exit. You will find a stairway on your right. Those stairs lead to a shortcut to World Marshal Headquarters. 
Do not be distracted by the advertisements. You are not here as a tourist. Sure. I'll just buy a quick souvenir or two for Rose, and that'll be it. Raiden, we must hurry. Remind me to teach you about sarcasm sometime. I understand your attempts at humor. I simply do not find them entertaining. Sassy Robot Dog! Never stops. You have almost reached World Marshal Headquarters. That's how you do that. Enemy ahead, Raiden! Avoid fighting if you can. Avoid fighting? I don't understand the question. It's okay, I'm a master of stealth. Yes, I did just rip remote a left arm off. Such cheese. All the left hands. No, that that's the same type as the sassy dog train. Isn't this all a bit much? An indecent lunatic would have quit that from Mexico. Jetstream Sam. I have to drop the last director in half. Oh, just, I've killed a ton of the robot dogs. But now here you are. The child soul. Fighting for the children. But you are a man of Kishan, aren't you? Gonna fix everything. Just you and your little sword there. Solve everything with violence. Is that it? My sword is a means to an end, to protect those you'd prey on. Really? Let me ask you, all those cyborgs you've killed up to now, maybe they weren't kids, but they were people. You ever think about them? When you're chopping them into hamburger? <laughs> they're adults. They made their choice. Sure they're adults. Sure they signed up for this. Right on the dotted line of their BMC contract. Usually, they're no strangers to war. In fact, many times they already lost a limb or two. Many times they were out of work and starving on the street. So yes, they sign up for surgery to fight God knows where. How else would you provide for your family when your country's embroiled in civil war? Pain receptors shut down, pumped full of fear-inhibiting nanomachines and sent right into the blender? Your blender? But they made their choice, right? 
open your eye and see, Raiden. I've seen plenty. Then listen. Those battlefield emotions that the Nanos press. Listen to them. What are you talking about? That's a really interesting part. Finish him off! Whatever it takes to move this torture. Stop it! So they don't actually go on for like five minutes, you can run around before it loops. at 9 30 i would let that run around more but right are you injured i thought they had a choice a fair choice not like you people are different as opposed to ai no 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 keep watching hobby trust me you're all the same huh you and your brothers manipulating mankind for our own good it appears my statement has upset you. Just trust me on I this one. I apologize. No, it's... I know you're right. As for AIs, we adapt as Just keep learn, watching, Hobby Bull. Just as any intellect operates, man or machine, altering the course of mankind is not among my defined directives. I guess that's a relief. Samuel's behavior does not match established parameters. You know him? Affirmative. We served together on three previous missions. He proved most capable. You think highly of him? I have always found him... dependable. Until now. Scouting no, don't spoil it. Just... Next area. I'll patrol ahead. You follow. Righty, your current emotional state appears highly volatile. I am sure you do not intend to abort the mission, but I suggest you avoid combat for the time being. <laughs> So I'm a little, uh, a little bit of a head trip, you know? I cannot nano, I cannot ninja run. I can't do shit, honestly.
I'm just gonna have to keep being incredibly, incredibly emotional until I, um, get over it, I guess? boss is in fact coming, yes. Come on, right and just fucking climb the... Climb the thing, right? Just climb the thing. It's okay, because stealth is our specialty. Now, I've tried this repeatedly. There is no way to stealth through this. They are going to see you. They're really not that bad. Not a whole lot you can do here. I know. Not so black and white now, is it? Is your cause just? Or is that just what you tell yourself? Fuck you. How pleased you yep. are to chop away, Jack the Ripper. So let's have this conversation how awful we are for killing people. My name is Monsoon. Of the winds of destruction. Yeah. I guessed as much. So yeah, that's this guy's gimmick. Sides of your enemies? How easily you ignore the loss of life when it suits your convenience. So tell me, who saves the weak from the man who saves the weak? You're the ones exploiting them. You take advantage of their weakness. Of course they get hurt when you set them up as your human shield. Kill or be killed, Jack. Okay. This is the best part of the game. Please observe this, yes. you know. You aren't the only one to grow up in a kill. War is a cruel parent, but an effective teacher. Its final lesson is carved deep in my psyche. Bobby, pay attention. This world and all its people are diseased. Free will is a myth. Religion is a joke. Controlled by something greater, means the DNA of the soul. They are the culture. They names. are the we pass on. Expose someone to anger long enough, they learn to hate. They become a carrier. Envy, greed, despair, all means. How about full of shit? Is that a mean? You can't fight nature, Jack. Wind blows, rain falls, and the strong prey upon the weak. Ugh. Sam tells me you see your weapon as a tool. Something that saves lives, a means of justice. Now there's a pretty meme. Exquisite. It spared you the burden of all the lives you take. Absolved you of guilt when you enjoyed it. He is bored as fuck. That is, until the illusion was broken. 
Don't be ashamed. It's only nature running its course. You have no choices to make, nothing to answer for. You can die with a clear conscience. You're right. About me, I mean. I knew something was off. After the Patriots, I thought I could walk off the battlefield and into a normal life. But here I am, surrounded by death, arguing philosophy with terrorists. I told myself this was about justice, about protecting the weak. But I was wrong. <laughs> then you admit it. I learned young that killing your enemies felt good. Really good. In America, my friends, my family, they helped me forget the devil inside. But who am I kidding? I was born to kill! <sighs> the bit about my sword, that means of justice stuff, I guess I needed something to keep the Ripper in check when I was knee-deep in bodies. You? But you, all this is a wake-up call to what I really believe, what I really am. What are you saying? <laughs> I'm saying Jack is back. <laughs> Doctor, turn off my pain inhibitors. What? This... this is madness. You do it! All right. Give it up! 
comes. This one's on me! ESP is horrible at literally everything. Dark Side Phil is infamous for being basically fucking horrible at video games. The best part is my computer is actually starting to lag now. I know, but this way he drops drop shit, and I like shit. You only get one shot to hit that timer, apparently. I have won This one you actually have to dodge. I just want to confirm to you that yes, this is really happening. He has a magnet yo-yo. You can? Yeah, I'll pass. I'll just keep dodging it, thank you. Monsoon is... Terrifying 
Slime is such a fucking awesome song. Here it comes. This one's on me. I don't really. Like, I don't understand how you're supposed to do this. Oh, that's how. I'm not really sure if that accomplished anything. I mean, I hit it, but it didn't break it. Here it comes! <laughs> the least phallic thing ever! I'll put you one sweet thing. Now! Jack Ripper! Good place to pause for the night. Or be killed. Don't be ashamed. It's only nature running its course. Your means and here. No, I passed one. To you, sure as the sun will rise. The slaughter. Fine, Kevin. Relax. I'll get the brains. I don't want this for anyone else. All right, man. Later. Okay, that better be the end of the mission, or so fucking help me. Because we're quitting either way. Oh, thank God. He... No longer holds it back. Which is the important thing. So anyway. Let's call it there for the evening, and show some ads, and get, get this thing finished. <laughs>